for people that are in the church and for church buildings. How about that? You get what I'm saying? It don't make sense. I no longer agree with this nonsense that has been taught. I want to know the truth, no matter how uncomfortable it is. I want to know the truth. And that's what I'm seeking. And the Holy Spirit is leading me to the truth. He's leading me away from religion and into the truth. Okay. So I no longer, when you, when you send me stuff, it don't, it's like, I'm grateful. Like you care, but I don't, it's, it's coming out of place of religion and error. And I get it. I understand that, you know, I get it. Like I, I, I get it. Like I was there before too. Right. But it's like, you know, I've gotten so many false prophecies and that's what really made me start looking start searching. I got so many false prophecies from real people of God. Like they, I don't even want to call them false prophets because they seem like true prophets, but they prophecies don't become true. Like not, not, not all of them. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to, and they're, they're real people of God. And I know this, right. But it's a disconnect somewhere. It's a disconnect. You can't no longer tell me if I'm looking at the sky and it's blue, you can't tell me it's red. You can't. And you can't point to a scripture that says that it's red if I'm looking for it and it's blue. You know why? Because the scriptures are true. All of it. It's all true. The interpretations have been wrong. I'm not on it no more. I'm not going to be deceived. Okay. I'm not being deceived no more. And the Bible says that my God said, my people perish from the lack of knowledge. Why is the church so comfortable? Y'all still comfortable doing the same thing. Y'all still comfortable praying and preaching the same way. And you can't cast out devils. You can't make somebody get up and walk. You can't heal the sick. People die of cancer all the time, but you're okay. You're not, you're not getting it. It's a disconnect. You need to change something. You need to understand and learn something differently from the same Bible, but you need to really get it from the Holy Spirit. You, you, it's like, <laughs> man, Jesus, it was recorded. I think God spoke to Jesus in the Bible three times. I know he spoke to him more than that. Everything is not recorded in the Bible because it would be too much, but it's recorded. He spoke three times when God spoke to Moses. It was for a reason. When God speaks, it's for a reason. It's very important. He's God, right? He got ministering angels, you know, to, to tell us other stuff. And he has the beautiful Holy Spirit that like leads us into the truth. Thank you, Lord. But God, when God speaks, it's like, it's, it's a, it's a reason, but I hear so many Christians, these same Christians calling me and sending me scriptures and telling me that God told them to say this. Every time they talk, God told me this and God said this and God said that and God said this. And then I said this and God said this, that look, <laughs> understand your logic in the fact that God has given you brains and he has given you vibrations and signals and, 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 and we have ministering angels. We have the beautiful Holy spirit and we have our own thoughts. Understand the difference. Understand the difference. My phone is ringing. So it's like, <laughs> I'm seeing this and, and, and I've been seeing this for years and y'all comfortable to, to keep going like that. You comfortable? But you can't go to raise the dead. You can't go and tell somebody, get up and walk. You can't see. <laughs> That's where I want to be. I want to I want to know how I want to tap into God's power for real, right? Like in the Bible. So before you come at me, understand like where, where you are and where I am, right? We are humans. We're humans. So I'm not saying you up here and I'm up here or down here. I'm not saying I'm up here and you down here. What I'm saying is understand. I don't agree with you anymore. I don't agree. I don't agree. Please quit texting and calling me and sending me messages. You know what I'm saying? Like, unless God really, if he really tell you, you know, and you know, it's God, then you got to be obedient. Other than that, please stop it. You're religious. You're religious. Mm -hmm. And yes, I feel like people be like, oh, it's a way to seem right to a man. And in the end, there is death. That is a scripture and that is true. Who is it true for though? Is it true for you? Is it true for me? I'm just saying a lot of people in the church think the same way. 
Jesus said it's only going to be a few that find the right way. So I'm just saying, don't be so quick to judge me. You know what I'm saying? Don't be so quick to judge other people. Judge yourself. The Bible says work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You are trying to work out my salvation. So you are, you are focused on my salvation so much to where are you neglecting yours? Come on now. Like, anyway, it makes me a little angry because it's not just one person. It's not just two people. It's not just three people. It's not just four people. It's like <laughs> people keep sending me stuff and saying stuff to me because of how it looks to you because of this church culture. Notice I ain't saying the church though, this church culture. And I'm not saying that, that, that y'all not part of the church. I'm just saying you are part of a church culture and it's religious and you really feel like, because I sing and dance and use my talents, my gifts versus the talents is, is money really is weight and it's money when you study the real word. So let me go ahead. Cause I, I'm trying to get away from that too. I'm trying to get away from what I've been taught. That's wrong. And I'm trying to re, you know, re rebuild everything. So gifts I'm trying to use, I'm using, using my gifts and I'm having fun with it. Right. And people are like, Oh, she must not know. I am totally, totally still a Christian totally still a Christian and I'm not living lukewarm. I'm not backslidden. And I really don't have to explain myself, but I want to, I want to, you know, they're like, oh, you shouldn't let your evil, your good be evil spoken of by who though? You? I look evil to you? Okay, well, it's people that are in the world that feel like they feel like I, I'm like, I guess they think I'm like Mother Teresa because they some of them don't want to be around me, <laughs> you know, because I'm it's too, I, I guess I'm too, they think I'm like different, you know, and I th think they feel like I'm judging them. I'm not judging them. I don't get down like that. Y'all run people away from God. If I was like, if I was not strong in God, like if, if the word has not been planted, like in solid, solid ground, I would leave. I would leave. I'm telling you, somebody texted me and they just, I mean, they kept going and they was getting smart with me. And I kept saying, I love you. I love you. I'll talk to you later. I love you. They didn't say that. They didn't say, I love you. Now one time, this is the person that was checking me about my re relationship with God. God is love. If you don't love people, you don't got a relationship with God. That's how you could tell if you got a relationship with God. Do you love people? Can you can you love somebody in the midst of anger? This person kept like badgering me and and talk, talking real slick and real smart to me. And I wanted to say some stuff back, but God, the Jesus in me didn't it you know, he didn't allow. He he the Jesus in me suppressed that human nature that wanted to really let that person have it. And that person was saying all types of false stuff. It was false. They think it was true, but it was false. But I really could have told the truth and didn't have to say nothing false. And that person, you know, I could have kind of, you know, won the argument, but it wasn't about that, you know? So again, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. <laughs>